بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دس ویڈیو وی ویل سٹڈی کانفیڈنس انٹرویل فور پاپولیشن مین میو وین سگما از انون این این از لیس دین ایکل ٹو تھرٹی این از دا سیمپل سائز سگما از دا پاپولیشن سٹینڈرڈ ایویشن دا کنڈیشن از سیم ایز دا پریویس ٹاپک ان پریویس ٹاپک یو ہیو ڈن testing of hypothesis for population mean mu when sigma is unknown and sample size less than equal to 30. So what is the difference in testing of hypothesis and confidence interval? This is the important thing. In testing of hypothesis, we test either the population mean or null hypothesis is true or false. We test the population mean with the help of sample size. Mu is the parametric value. Parameter means population value, population mean, population standard deviation, etc. is called parameter. Parameter, okay. And x bar, sample mean, sample standard deviation is called statistic. So, in confidence interval, we will find the lower and upper value lower and upper value of the population mean in testing of hypothesis we test either the population mean is true or false with the help of sample statistics sample mean sample data in confidence interval we find the lower and upper value of the parametric value, parameter, mean, standard deviation, etc. This is the difference. Okay. So, if x bar and s are the mean and standard deviation of a random sample of size n less than equal to 30 from an approximate normal population with unknown variance sigma square. This is the important condition. A 1 minus alpha into 100 percent confidence interval for mu is given by. This is the formula used for the testing of hypothesis for population mean mu for this condition sigma is unknown and sample size is small less than equal to 30. You have used same condition in testing of hypothesis. We test either the population mean is same as the standard value given value with the help of sample data. In confidence interval, we find the lower and upper value, lower and upper acceptable value with property of error. So, all the, param, uh, all the terms are same as the formula of the t-test, x bar sample mean as sample standard deviation and sample size, t alpha point 2 comma mu, mu the degree of freedom, alpha is the level of significance and with the help of level of significance alpha and degree of freedom we find the table value we will find the table value from table i have already explained in testing of hypothesis and substitute in this formula you will obtain the lower value of the population mean lower acceptable value of the population mean and right hand side is same as left hand side but here left hand side we use negative sign right hand side we use the positive sign so all the terms are same as the left hand side you will obtain after substituting the value of x bar table value sample standard division sample size upper value of the population mean so if the level of significance alpha is the 5 percent alpha point 2 will be 0 0.025 I have already explained in testing of hypothesis total area under the curve is the 100 percent this 0 0.025 plus 0 0.025 equal to 5 percent and this area is the 95 percent. This area is called confidence interval 1 minus alpha total probability is 1 minus alpha upon 2 plus alpha upon 2 alpha into 100 percent confidence interval of the total 100 percent confidence interval. So, this area less than this area and upper than this area is called critical region, rejected region and this green area is called acceptance region, accepted area and represented by 
वन माइनस एल्फा बिकॉज द टोटल प्रॉपर्टी अंडर दर्व इज वन सो इफ दिस प्लस दिस इज इक्वल टू एल्फा दिस विल बी इक्वल टू वन माइनस एल्फा सो वन माइनस एल्फा इज कॉल्ड कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल ओके और दिस इज द फार्मूला फॉर कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल दिस इज द डायग्राम एंड विद दी हेल्प ऑफ दिस यू विल ऑप्टेन द लोअर एंड अपर वैल्यू लोअर एंड अपर एक्सेप्टेबल वैल्यू इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल कॉन्फिडेंस लिमिट कंट्रोल लिमिट एटसेट्रा ओके सो नाउ यू सॉल्व न्यूमेरिकल यू हैव सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इन टेस्टिंग ऑफ हाइपोथिस द कंटेंट ऑफ सेमी सिमिलर कंटेनर ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड आर गिवन नाइन पॉइंट एट टेन पॉइंट टू एंड सो ऑन रिटर फाइंड नाइंटी फाइव परसेंट कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल फॉर द मीन कंटेंट ऑफ ऑल सच कंटेनर दिस इंडिकेट इज द क्वेश्चन ऑफ द कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल फॉर द मीन assuming the approximate normal distribution for container contents so seven similar containers n is equal to 7 degree of freedom u will be equal to n minus 1 6 from this data you will obtain x bar and s this is the x bar is here x bar mean 10 s standard deviation 95% confidence interval means 95% confidence interval means 1 minus alpha this is the 1 minus alpha is equal to 95% means 0.95 so 1 minus alpha 9.95 alpha will be equal to 0.05 for this value divided by 2 we will obtain alpha 0.2 0.025 and with the help of 0.025 with degree of freedom 6 you will obtain this table value from t table Why we are using here t table or t statistics, t test? Because confidence question is confidence interval for mean. For mean, we use t test and z test. And when we use the t test, when sigma is unknown and sample size is small, so there is no sigma. Sigma is not given, and sample size is only seven. Substitute x bar ten. This table value. S is the standard deviation divided by square root of n seven. Same as right hand side, substitute all values, simplify, you will obtain the lower and upper acceptable value or confidence interval. So first we will calculate this term and then subtract from ten. If you first subtract from ten this value and then multiply by this, you will, this will be completely wrong. So first calculate this term, then subtract from mean. Here. First calculate this term, then add in mean x bar. So what is the conclusion? We are ninety five percent confident that question is find the ninety five percent confidence interval. So we are ninety five percent confident that population mean of content of all container will be lies between this value and this value. So we are ninety five percent confident that the population mean of the total containers of the population. Will be equal to 9.74 liters and 10.26 liters. Okay. Now homework for confidence interval, chapter number nine, page number 263, and question number 11 and 12. This is chapter number, page number, and question number 11 and 12. Allah Hafiz.